it going? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name's Heather. Welcome to my channel. I am on a weight loss journey. I set out at the end of May of 2020 to lose 70 pounds. I've lost a little over 31, so I've got a little over 38 to go. Woo! I've been following Weight Watchers for the last almost year, and I recently switched. I have a video about that to using a cheaper app that also gives me other options, and I'm really loving it. If you're interested in that, please go ahead and check out the video in the eye as well as I'll have a link down below. Another way that I'm losing weight is I'm participating in the 67 day Beaches Caruso's Try Your Best Beach Challenge and I've really been enjoying that. We're, I don't know, like four days in I think at this point. Today you're going to see a what I eat in a day. I was at the office, I had plans to go out with a friend for dinner and I got a little hangry and went rogue and went way over my points, but I think this is a healthy thing to watch because I wasn't planning to eat that way. I'd set my points pretty low, that way I could enjoy and indulge that evening, but still eat within moderation. And I don't know what happened, but let's go ahead and get the video started. I've still been rocking and this is five points because I got two points worth of oats a points worth of non-fat plain Greek yogurt a points worth of PB2 and then a points worth of chia seeds which on the on the eye track bites chia seeds one tablespoon is only one point I think on Weight Watchers app chia seeds one tablespoon was more than one point because I was always doing like half a tablespoon to keep my points down. And so I'm glad I can do more on iTrack Bites because chia seeds are really good for you. Are you late for work? That was a total of 452 calories and 52 grams of protein. For snack, I had this Chomps for 100 calories, three points. And then I also had a banana, which is zero points and or bites and about 100 calories. The applesauce is gonna be 50 calories, also zero. So what's that, like a total of 250? Dropping everything cause you're stuck on my mind, my mind. So just sit with me, talking to the night until the morning, building camp mystery. Okay, so this is two points. And then I have a few potatoes here, but these potatoes are maybe like a point. So three points. I have this just in case I'm still hungry, but this is pretty voluminous and I have more of these veggies downstairs. Just wanted to show you guys my completed plate. I did not. Ooh. I just dropped my knife on my lap. <laughs> I 
I did not eat this because I was feeling full and bleh. Okay, I thought I'd flip it around because I'm going to talk for a few seconds. And hopefully you can't hear anybody else because I know somebody's talking downstairs. We're in the loft situation at the office. Today was one of the first days in a while that I felt um, like my food was bland. And I, it was a struggle to get it down and get it in because I have been doing so good. Even eating yesterday, like everything just tasted so delicious. I'm eating the same stuff that I had the last couple days. And I don't know if it's because I know like tonight and tomorrow for lunch, I'm having very delicious food and I'm so excited about it. I've been looking at the menus and so maybe that's why I'm feeling this way, but I don't know. It was a struggle. I just thought I should share that because I really want to I'm also feeling munchy. I think I mentioned that earlier with my snacks, but I really want to just eat everything right now. <laughs> and I'm not going to because I want to eat all the chips and salsa tonight. So what can I say? I'm feeling headachey and I don't know. I just don't feel good. And when I don't feel good, I sometimes I feel like I need to eat. And I have this or which this is three points and only 80 calories. No protein. This... It's 220 calories, nine points, but it's got four grams of protein. I'm gonna try this first, I already opened it. Um, and it is technically expired, I think it expired this month. Oh wait, just kidding, in February, but it's cereal, so. For my snack, the dreaded thing that threw me off, it was 12 points or bites, 300 calories, and four grams of protein. Leah, did you want a vitamin? Oh, baby. Hey, this is the weight loss journey tag portion of this video. This tag thing, nobody tagged me in this. I'm doing it and tagging everybody else, which I think is what Tressa did. Hey, Tressa, thanks so much for comments. And she has her own weight loss journey YouTube. So if you are interested in going and in, in encouraging her, I'm sure she'd love that. She's so cute, she's a nurse and she's trying to lose 100 pounds. Go Tressa! I watched one other person because I've been going through the Discord board that Beatrice Caruso, the creator of the 67 Day Challenge, Be Your, uh, Try Your Best Beach Challenge, um, she came up with this Discord thing that all of us oldies but goodies are trying to figure out because we have no idea what's going on. She created this thing and people are linking their socials in there and I've had a couple people come say hi to me from over there so if you're there, hey! So Tressa did this tag. There's also another girl that I watched, Carolyn's Weight Loss Journey. She's so cute. You need to go watch her. She did this too, and I don't think either one of them actually like tagged any specific people, or if they did, I missed it. They have 11 questions that go with this, and the first one is, what was your highest weight? My highest weight was 202 pounds. My highest weight for this weight loss is 195. That's where I started when I weighed in for my first, weight, my first Weight Watchers thing here in May of 2020, at the end of May. Number two, what diets or methods have you tried? Not very many. Tried the, if you're local, there's a, a local like weight loss doctor, Dr. Cesar Laura or Cesar Laura. I don't really know how you say his name. I have some family friends that have done it. My dad's done it and I was doing it with my dad. We weren't doing the full thing. We're not going in and like getting the B shots, vitamin B shots or whatever, but it's pretty restrictive and once you stop following it, you're probably gonna gain it back because you go back to your old habits, which is why they say you need to do something that you're going to do for the rest of your life, like change, actually change your habits, which is hard. Most of us have been doing this for decades, not just like a year. Another method that I've tried is low carb keto, which didn't work for me when I was able to eat wheat, but now that I've kind of given up on wheat, uh, I'm really enjoying a lot of the low carb foods because you can make all these bready type things and cakes and stuff with coconut flour or almond flour and those are all naturally gluten free. So it's a very appealing diet to me right now. But I still do enjoy Weight Watchers because I feel like I can figure out what I'm doing with that. So Weight Watchers I had tried back in when I was in college and it didn't work for me because I wasn't working the plan. I was just kind of like counting points and still doing whatever I wanted. And then there was one other thing I tried. Oh, Whole30. If you consider that a diet, I tried Whole30. Um, I don't remember if I lost any weight because you're not supposed to weigh yourself while you're on it. And I only made it 10 days before I thought I was going to hurl. So number three, what diet plan are you on now? I'm following Weight Watchers, but I am not paying for Weight Watchers. 
I'm using an app called iTrack Bytes that is the exact same thing as Weight Watchers. It uses the same, I'm not, it's not called like an algorithm, but it's something like that. It, you know, it, it has the same information that it uses to figure out how healthy foods are and whether you, they are zero points or how many points, it, uh, you know, how many points goes to a, a food item. But I'm also able to, with an iTrack Bytes, track my calories, track my macros. Um, and that I talk about in another video where I talk about why I quit Weight Watchers and how I'm using iTrack Bites because it's cheaper and much better. Number four, what is your favorite food? Tex-Mex, like across the board. Chips and salsa, tacos, enchiladas, nachos, burritos, tostadas, Crunchwrap Supreme. <laughs> if you watch my Taco Bell video, you know what I'm talking about. Number five, how do you reward your accomplishments? I have a video about this where I talk about my mini rewards they have set up for myself and I've only achieved one of those and I didn't even buy what I had on the list <laughs> because it was a buy a holiday item and I actually cheated a lot faster than I was expecting to. This second one is taking longer. I have another pound and a half before I get there. So cross your fingers. I would like to get there before the end of April. That would be amazing. So I have all these different like price points and weight loss points. I have all these different price points and, and weight loss points. So the next one is 162 pounds. Number six, what was your most rewarding NSV? My most rewarding NSV was definitely putting on clothing that used to be too tight or didn't really fit or was uncomfortable. And then now it fits amazing and awesome. And I have to even go to a smaller size. Definitely, definitely the best NSV that I've had. What will you do at goal? I'm going to buy myself a pair of Tory Burch Miller sandals that are 150 to $200 that I don't need but I want, and uh, hopefully I can hit goal before Black Friday. I don't think I was talking about this in the video because that's when they go on sale. So I'd really like to buy them on sale. So that's my, my, my deadline. And if I don't make it, it's no big deal because I don't really care. And I'm, I know this is a weight loss journey and it can take longer than I'm expecting and it's going to take longer. But in my head, I'm still like, oh, if I could actually do it before then, that'd be amazing. Okay, number eight. Why are you losing weight? I'm losing weight because I want to be healthy. And by be healthy, I know I'm getting to a certain age where it's harder to lose weight. And so I'm trying to lose all of my weight before I get to that point. So that way it's not like too difficult. It's difficult. Losing weight is not easy because you didn't, it's not, wasn't easy putting it on, even though it seemed like it was. Number nine, what was the first habit you changed at the beginning of your weight loss journey? For me, it was portion control, but also measuring everything out not just the, the portion control on my plate at the end, but even weighing my cheese, weighing my sour cream, using measuring spoons. When I cook, I don't usually use any of that stuff. I, I just, that tastes good, that smells good. I, I know what cooking goes in it, you know? When I bake, that's science. I have to use measurements and weights and things, but that was totally different. So now I'm doing that for all, all the foods, and at some point, I've gotten to I've gotten to the point where like I know this you know two spoonfuls of the Fritos nacho cheese I know what that looks like what that looks like weighed out and so I'm able to control myself with that number ten what is your favorite body part my eyes I have always really liked my eyes they they don't gain weight just kidding <laughs> but I, seriously uh, I have like hazel eyes and so they kind of change with whatever I'm wearing what color the sky is. The sky's always blue, I don't know why I said that, but you know, whatever's kind of going on outside, what color I, my hair is or whatever, it always just kind of goes with my eyes. Number 11, what is the number one best tip you have for losing weight? Don't get discouraged. Losing weight is hard. It's a lot of work and sometimes you can be doing all the things right and still not lose weight. And that's really frustrating. So don't give up, continue what you're doing. Bodies are weird and sometimes they hold on to weight and then eventually you'll eat all the bad things and they'll drop three pounds. I've seen it time and time and time again from people on Instagram, people on YouTube, and in my own body. And I, you just have to stay consistent. You have to stay with what works. Calorie deficit, even if you're not losing weight, tracking it in other ways, which is awesome that Beatrice Caruso threw that in there because that's something that I think makes a huge difference is not relying on the scale. I'm actually going to be doing like a no way May for the most part. There's a couple of videos like I need to weigh because I need to see how much I lost based on what's going on. But for the most part, I'm not gonna be getting up on Wednesday mornings and weighing like I am now. That'll be exciting. I really hope you liked this part of the video. Now let's go see what I had for dinner. It's tex -Mex. And it was an amazing, amazing experience. Let's go relive it. For dinner, 
this lovely enchilada platter. I only ate like two thirds of one of the enchiladas and I counted it as seven points. It's a chicken enchilada with corn tortilla. And then I had half of the chips and salsa for six points or bites. The black beans and rice, I knew I wasn't gonna eat all of it. So I counted six points for a total of 19 points or bites for dinner. So what'd you think? Did I do pretty good? I mean, considering the fact that I went way over my points, only going to 1600 calories. Editing Heather, after adding in like the veggies and stuff, I think it was probably closer to 1800 or 1850, but everything else I said rings true. But going 13 points over, significant in my opinion. You know, I only gained, what, an extra 400 calories, but I ate another half of my points, basically. And then I didn't take a video after I ate all of this food at dinner, but I did not eat all of it. I still had like one whole enchilada left plus like a third of it. And then I had chips and another, like half of the chips and cheese, some of the chips and salsa. So I took that and my parents and I ate that at a later time because they got to try it. This was a New Mexican restaurant to us, Salty Lime Cantina in downtown Palm Harbor. So good. I think they opened in 2020 probably during the pandemic and we just hadn't been there, but they have great seating outside. I don't know what the seating on the inside looked like, but it was really busy. Uh, but we didn't have to wait very long in my opinion. You know, it's not like a chain restaurant where you show up and they're like, it's a 45 minute wait. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up, leaving a comment down below, letting me know what your plans are for the week. If you're participating in any challenges, how your weight loss journey is going. And I hope you have a fabulous day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think